Welcome to Job Forum. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to send different autoresponder emails according to the form language. This is really useful to send out emails according to the language that the user actually speaks. Now, I will be showing you how to actually accomplish this using conditional logic. So based on conditional logic, we're going to tell JotForm to send out a different email based on the language that the person selects. So let me show you how this is accomplished right now. All right, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started with a brand new form. Let's go into create a form. We'll start from scratch. We'll select classic form. And let's drag in some form elements. So let's go into add form elements. We're going to need the name. We'll add address. We'll ask for the phone number and the email. Okay. Let's just say this is a simple form. You can add the elements that you need on your form. Next step is that we have to add languages to this form for the translation. Let's go into settings, form settings. We're going to show more options and under options, we're going to see form language. We have to select the language that the form is actually created. So in this case, this form is English US. Now we have to edit. We're going to add a form language and this is where we're going to add our custom languages. So in this case, we'll add, for example, Spanish. Let's add the form language. Okay. Some of these languages will be automatically translated, but we can edit these manually if we like. So for example, this is the first field, which is formulario previous, which is back and next. These are the buttons. This is the name field. So we can see that they are translated. If we're good to go, we can go back. We can add more languages. In this case, let's just add Dutch. Let's add that one. And again, this one is also translated automatically. Let's go back and let's go ahead and add one more. Let's add German. All right, let's add that language. Okay, this one is not auto translated. You would need to add your own translation here. But for, for now, we're just going to leave it this way. Let's go back. Next thing we have to do is create our autoresponder emails based on the language. So let's add an email right here, autoresponder email. Let's title these autoresponder emails with something that we can later know what it actually is. So for example, we'll name this English supply in, and we can edit all the information right here. Since it's English and we're okay, the subject is okay. The email content is okay. We'll just say, let's save it. Let's add another email. Again, autoresponder email for our next language. We'll say Spanish. So we know we, we're going to use this one and we would translate this. So for example, we would say, for example, nombre, dirección, and just like that. All right. Um, obviously you would translate your own here. Email subject. We would translate it also. Let's go ahead and save this. Remember, this is just for demo purposes. Let's add another one. This one would be German and you would translate it also. In my case, I don't speak German, but you get the idea. Let's go ahead and save it. And one more for Dutch. All right, let's move that supply and save. So now we have our autoresponder emails. What happens next? Now we have to add our conditional logic. But before we do that, I just want to show you really quickly how the languages actually appear on the form. So I was going to publish, open in a, new, in a new tab, and we can see the languages right here. So when the user selects the language here, we're going to send out a different autoresponder email based on the language. Why? Because if someone selects Spanish for the form, they don't want to receive an email that's in English. That would be kind of weird and they wouldn't understand it if they don't speak both languages. So this is a really good use case. So how are we going to accomplish this? Let's go into settings, conditions, and we're going to select change email recipient. So let's select this right here. And this is where the conditional logic comes in play. What is conditional logic? Conditional logic is a base of logical that says if this happens, do that. Okay. That's what we're going to do. So if the user selects certain language, it's going to do this. In this case, we're going to send out an email with the language that the user selected. So let's do this. So if the language here it is, here's that field is equal to, 
So in this case, if they select this language, the value of this one, if it's English, we're going to select the email. Remember, we named these. We're going to select English and we're going to save it again. Let's add another conditional logic. Change email recipient. Same process. Language is equal to Spanish. We're going to send out the Spanish email. So it's not going to be the same e email. It's going to be the one that they selected as a, the predetermined language on the form. Let's add the next one equal to this one's to be Dutch. Let's select Dutch right here. Let's save and let's add one more, which is German. And we're going to select the autoresponder email for German. So now we set our conditional logic. So when they select any one of the languages, it's going to send out this specific email. Now, remember, we changed the email from Spanish, all right? So we're going to do that test right now. Let's go into our form. Let's open a new tab. OK, let's select the language. So right now it's selected in Spanish. So you can see it's already translated here. And let's just go ahead and fill it out really quickly. OK, now we filled it out. Let's go ahead and send. All right. So now it's been sent. Let's go check out that email that we should have received in Spanish. OK, here's our email that we've just received and we received the one that was translated. Remember, we changed this nombre, dirección, número de teléfono, which is in Spanish because we selected the Spanish language. So in this case, the users are going to receive a customized email that's based on their language. So basically, that is how you send out an autoresponder email according to the language on the form. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.